they see you don't care about fighting for their acceptance. <laughs> see, this is the thing about so many people. They truly feel that you can't make it. You can't grow. You can't have success without the approval and acceptance of others. And this is not how you think. <laughs> you feel me? Like you've never thought that you can't make it or you can't grow if people don't, you know, follow behind you or support you or be a part of what you have going on. And this is why you're successful, right? But see them, they truly feel like they can't be successful without being a part of the pack, following behind others, right? Just following the herd, right? Into misery <laughs> for no reason, following the herd into drama <laughs> for no reason, right? Following the herd into lack of confidence and, you know, lack of growth just to feel like they're part of something. <laughs> it's like, bro, what is going on, right? And because you don't think like this, you grow fast. Because you don't think like this, you're extremely confident. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you don't think like this, you learn things from a very, you know, wise and humble point of view. And you're able to help others because you're not so worried about what others think. <laughs> like, how are you going to be a good person and be helping others? But then you're so worried about what other people think. See, this is a thing. You don't have to worry about what people think when you're doing the right thing. When people worry about what people think, it's most likely because they're shameful about what they're doing in their own right and they don't like what they're doing. So let them people worry about what people think. They deserve to be unconfident anyway if they can't look in the mirror and just be real with themselves, right? <laughs> like, and that's why we have what we have going on right here. We have this family, we have this ministry because I'm teaching you how to look in the mirror and feel good, how to look in the mirror and feel whole, how to look in the mirror and know, hey, I'm not taking any shortcuts. I'm living for the most high God, living for Lord Jesus. And I'm only fighting for his acceptance, right? See, when you're fighting for other people's acceptance, you're always going to be jumping through hoops to no avail. <laughs> you feel me? You're always going to be jumping through hoops just to fail. <laughs> you feel me? Bars. <laughs> but here's the thing about you. You learn from the past doing these things. Just because you don't do them now doesn't mean you've never made these mistakes, which has allowed you to learn and grow now, right? The same people that they fight for acceptance for really don't care about them. And you've seen this, and this is why you move how you move. <laughs> you feel me? And it makes you extremely successful. It makes you extremely blessed. And it makes you extremely close to Lord Jesus. <laughs> and this makes you happy. This makes you prosperous. This makes you, you know, infectious in a positive way to others because other people want to smile too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like other people want to be happy too. Other people want to learn how to be confident and grow from mistakes and uh, negativity too, right? People don't want to mosey around in a miserable existence just because they're fighting for the acceptance of others. And see, because people hate this about you, all they sit down and do is fight for your attention to no avail. See, people are mad because you made it once with no acceptance. You didn't care about what people think because you're smart enough to see they're clowns. <laughs> they're not even happy with themselves, right? They don't even look in the mirror and accept themselves. When they walk past people, people ain't waving at them, trying to get to know them, trying to say hi and be around them. No, people disperse because they know it's negative, evil energy in the room, right? And they don't care to be around there, right? So you made it once without people's acceptance. It had them so mad, right? Doing all this witchcraft, making all these spells, spreading all these lies <laughs> to no avail, just to fail, right? And yeah, it may have worked and made you fall off. And when they made you fall off the first time after you made it without them, <laughs> and they were so mad about it, <laughs> right? When it made you fall off the first time, they thought that you were going to come crawling back to them, you know, rushing for their attention, needing their acceptance, needing their support. And guess what? None of it mattered. All you did was recover, go to Lord Jesus, bounce back and make it again. <laughs> and it has them so mad because they're like, hold up. Bro, just keep making it and making it and making it. Hold up. Sis, just keep making it and making it and making it. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on is you shouldn't be worried about who's making it or not. Feeling like you're the cherry on top. See, people always feel like 
Your success is based on them and your success is based on you and Lord Jesus. <laughs> but because people don't want to fight for their own success, they like living through others, making themselves feel like they're the final piece to success or they're the cherry on top or it's not happening without them. <laughs> but yet their success ain't even happening, but they want somebody else's success to depend on their support. <laughs> like, bro, your support ain't even supporting your own success. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> of course, your support is not going to be the cherry on top as far as somebody making it and growing to the next level. Of course, your support is not going to hold back a true chosen one of God. <laughs> but that's a nice joke, though. Like, that's entertaining. <laughs> like, the fact that people feel so flattered but yet they bring nothing to the table in their own lives. They don't even have like good energy. Their facial expressions is all messed up, right? Posture all messed up. They look in the mirror, don't even like themselves, don't even accept themselves, but they want you to fight for their acceptance. <laughs> like what's going on, bro? How would I fight for a person's acceptance that don't even accept themselves or confident in themselves? And that's fine. We all start from somewhere, but they're not even humble enough to put it in Lord Jesus's hands to gain that confidence, that love, that humbleness, right? Get that ego and that pride out of their system, right? They don't even want to do that. <laughs> so of course they get laughed at. Of course, we don't really care. Of course, we're smart enough to know we're not going to let a negative evil person hold us back from something that has our name on it and that's our gifts that's our destiny that's our purpose right we don't let haters have action as something that they're not even doing themselves because they want to pull somebody back and when you look at the group you look at the people that's bouncing around fighting for acceptance bro they're behind in life they're behind uh, with God. They're behind in every single way. Why would somebody want to fit in with that? <laughs> They're miserable in every single way. Why would somebody want to fit in with that, right? <laughs> and then these same people, you can have a whole bunch of money in your pocket, right? They want you to fight for their acceptance. But say you have money in your pocket, but you play broke just to see if people really care about you and say, hey, I'm down on my insurance or I'm down on this, you know? Can you help me? Like, are you there for me? Da, da, da. Bro, they're going to spread your business through the streets. <laughs> they're going to laugh in your face. They're going to go celebrate and have drinks at the fact that you're failing. <laughs> but these be the same people that you're fighting for their acceptance. These be the same people talking behind your back, doing spells every time you tell them something major coming into your life because you're, what, fighting for their acceptance? <laughs> like, no, no wonder you have learned not to care because people have destroyed so many different things by allowing you to think that you need them <laughs> just to find out that they're not needed. <laughs> like people feel so needed, but they should need themselves enough to wake up and work on themselves and grow themselves and occupy themselves with something positive other than hating on the chosen ones. But you people hate this about you because you're so independent. You're not occupied with a hater. <laughs> like a hater don't get no space in your head, right? Negative people don't get no space in your life. <laughs> Negative people have, you know, no room and no comfortability around you because you're the light, right? And they can't take the light. This is why they sit around and deal with people that Nobody else accepts, just like them. <laughs> See, they want you to fight for their acceptance. Whole time, they're not accepted by nobody except a pack of weirdos that have low-level energy, just like them. <laughs> have time to gossip all day as grown men, just like them. <laughs> have time to waste a little bit of crumbs that they have of money because they came up against you and all their money got taken away. But they have time to waste that little bit of money doing more witchcraft. <laughs> waste that little bit of time, which is more valuable than money, doing more, you know, witchcraft and stalking and weirdo activities just to wake up and feel like a slug bug, <laughs> wake up and feel like a beetle, <laughs> beetle juice himself. <laughs> you feel me? Like these people are miserable. And the only way for them to reel you into their misery is to get you to fight for their acceptance. <laughs> like, and you're not doing it. You don't care to do that. And this is why that tunnel vision for the Most High God, that tunnel vision for Lord Jesus is allowing you to take things to the next level, right? Because the only acceptance that you're fighting for is his, right? And guess what? You're showing other people to do the same because they're seeing and going back through their files and seeing, dang, a lot of my misery and a lot of my negativity was fighting for the attention and the acceptance of whole weirdos <laughs> that care nothing about you, right? That really don't want to see you win. They really don't want to see you shine because they've never shined. Why do they never shine? Because they're negative. Why do they never shine? Because they're always worried about the next person shine, trying to get in to fit in, but they need to fit in with themselves because this season 
everything's being exposed. <laughs> like, ain't no negative fake mask that you could throw on and try to come around people with your negative energy and feel like you're going to get some attention or you're going to get some shine or you're going to get some of anything that is positive, right? That's why their life is falling apart. That's why uh, their destiny is falling apart. Their dreams are falling apart. They can already feel all the negative energy in their life. And guess what? That's on them. <laughs> They should have repented, right? But even now, after they repent, they're still going to go through it for seven to 10 years because they're cursed. <laughs> so they should have never been so focused on you fighting for their acceptance, which, hey, that's not bad enough for a seven to 10 year curse. But the thing is, this is a cherry on top. When you made it without their acceptance and they took things to the next level, try to put you on the menu, did all the witchcraft, did all the stalking, did all the gossiping, all the lies. Okay, well, guess what? Now your life is the best definition of depressed, cursed, right? Unblessed, right? Miserable, poverty, homelessness, sickness, and cancer. <laughs> That's their life, right? Moving forward to the important stuff because we're not worried about people with negative energy and haters that keep poking and poking and poking and poking. And if they had their way, they would get you up out of here because they know how many people you're here to help. How evil does that sound? <laughs> We don't care about people who would happily get you up out of here because you're here to help, right? That would happily destroy your life because you're confident. Mm -hmm. That would happily take down your dreams because you're successful with your dreams. <laughs> we don't care about what they got going on. They're in God's hands. And I'm bold enough to say that. That's on them, right? You bark up certain trees and you feel like you're going to be successful. You feel like you're going to have any type of happiness and joy. That's not going to be the case. And guess what? That's exactly why you're happy. That's exactly why you're joyful. So let a hater be a hater. Let them play the sideline and pout in the corner because they brought that on themselves. See, the whole time you weren't fighting for people's acceptance, you were growing. You were serving Lord Jesus. <laughs> you were winning souls for Lord Jesus. You were working on yourself. You were putting yourself in a position to help others work on themselves. You think God's going to let somebody come up against you to try to destroy you just because they're mad that you're not fighting for their acceptance? <laughs> like, that's a joke, and that'll never happen. <laughs> like, period. So every day that they wake up and they're miserable and they're still jumping around trying to be seen, they're going to understand that, hey, you're not worried about anybody accepting you, but you first and foremost, because you need to look in the mirror and understand that you love yourself because that's what we're preaching over here. And Lord Jesus, those are the only two things that you're worried about. And this is why you're going to continue to be blessed and stress-free. And if you know this to be the case, don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, I'm not fighting for the acceptance of anybody but Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. <laughs> Make sure you guys have done there. Like this thing up. Make sure you guys have done there. Share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. We're keeping the loop. Every time we drop, I'll catch you guys on the next one.